Guys, I'm super pumped about today's video. I've been really inspired lately by retro sports marketing, and I thought maybe this could be a cool video to take you guys along the journey and just recreate some of that. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, first things first, I gotta figure out what I wanna use as my subject. Lucky for me, I've got some shoes that I think would make a perfect subject for this piece. I've got these Nike Air Maxes that I got on Air Max Day, and I think these would be perfect for shooting this. They've kind of got that like retro vibe, I think, but honestly, I have them. I think they'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this up for a little photo shoot. All right, so I've got everything set up. I got to get my camera put in place. So we're going to put this here. Okay, obviously I'm using my iPhone now because I'm going to use the camera to do the photo shoot. So I've got the camera in place. Now I've got to get my shoes. So I'm going to grab my shoes. Got the shoes, so we're gonna pop these on real quick. I've done a bunch of different stuff being a designer, but usually I am not the model, so we'll see how well this goes. I feel like this is like a super incriminating shot, but I gotta lay on my back so I can get my feet up. That way I can, you know, get the photo of the shoes. So I'm gonna try this out and see what happens. This is way harder than it seems. Oh, this probably looks so weird on camera. 10 seconds is way too long. I should have done five. All right, I'm hoping one of those is a good photo. Let's check those out. All right, so we have our photo in here that we just took. Pretty weird. Pretty weird to see my feet upside down, but that's fine. This is, I've got a vision for this. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. What I wanna do first is I'm just gonna crop this because there's a lot of extra space. I guess I could have probably zoomed in a little bit, but hey, I was on my back taking a photo, so. Give me some slack. So this looks good right here. We'll crop that. And then I'm lazy. So I'm gonna use Adobe's Remove Background tool. And we're gonna see how good that does. Look at that. Perfect. Especially for a YouTube video, this is gonna be great. So we've got our background cut out. I do wanna adjust the colors a little bit. So I'm gonna come over here to Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation. Because I used a green screen, you can see some of that green bleeding. So I'll come over here to my green channel and I'll just drop that saturation. I'll drop the lightness as well. That should take care of most of that problem for me. No big deal. And then I'm gonna come over here to image curves, adjustments, curves. And I'm just gonna play with this a little bit. I might increase the sharpness just a bit. Just getting some of those colors to come out. This isn't really a Photoshop tutorial. I'm just kind of showing you the workflow. We can go more in depth in this kind of stuff, but that's something you guys are interested in. Let me know in the comments. All right, so just bring out some of those colors. Yeah, something like that. This is looking good. We got it cut out. I'm gonna come over here and create a new file. So we're gonna do a 18 by 24 poster, pretty common size. It's a poster, right? So we want it to be in CMYK. This all looks good, so let's create that. So we've got this blank canvas here now. So now I really wanna start adding some uh, some elements to make this look like a vintage poster, okay? Now don't judge me, I'm gonna do this kind of sloppy just because I'm doing this for a video, but I've got this background shape right here. That's gonna be my background. And then I wanna have like a window that's where uh, the shoes will live. So something like that. Let's make this black for now, I guess, just so I can see the difference. And then we'll have some like copy down here, but this is kind of the overall like idea I've got for this. All right, so let's grab my shoes. I'm gonna paste them right in here. I always kind of like to have this kind of poking out a little bit. It kind of creates some depth. Now I'm gonna duplicate this rectangle and I'm gonna use this as a mask. All right, so I duplicated this layer because I want some of this to uh, poke out. So I'm going to delete everything I don't need. Delete, delete, perfect. So now it kind of gives us that illusion that this is kind of like popping out, which is great. So this background's not really fitting the vibe, right? So let's get maybe some blue in here. I think like a sky could be cool. So let's see if we can find something like that. All right, so I'm gonna go over to pexels.com. This is just free uh, photos. It's what I use a lot, especially for these videos. Blue, cloudy sky. I think something like this will be perfect. Let's download this. All right, this is great. So now I just need to make sure this fits my rectangle. Boom, just like that. I've already got this background in here, which is great. Let's uh, Let's adjust it just a little bit. All right, next thing I need to do is I need to add the Nike logo. Just gonna rip this. This is bad graphic design. Probably shouldn't rip logos from definitely Google. This is a big one and it's just fan art. I'm not doing anything with it, so take that with a grain of salt. Maybe we move the little Nike up here in the ad. I think that might make it look a little bit better. I'm gonna do a color overlay on this too. This like off-white, yeah. I'm feeling a lot better about this composition now. I've got my big copy, I've got some body copy. I'm gonna put something here, but this is really where the fun's gonna start. I'm gonna take this composition here and I'm gonna start adding some 3D elements to give it that dimension and give it some of that pop. 
I've transitioned over here to Adobe Illustrator where I'm just going to make some basic shapes and then we're going to upload those to Adobe Project Neo and get some really cool 3D effects. I'll show you. All right, so I'm going to start with just a basic star. We'll do like a little star. Perfect. And I can actually adjust these points a little bit, maybe make it a little softer, something like that. Then I'll do like a little lightning bolt. I found just a little one on the internet. Just gonna trace this with my pen tool, something like that. Great. I think I'm gonna do a little like mouse cursor too. So we'll do a little triangle, something like this. Then we'll grab the rectangle tool. Perfect. Great, I think that'll be good. So I can copy all of my shapes, just Command C. Then we'll jump over here into Adobe Project Neo. And I've done some other videos on this in the past, but it's just a really simple way for, you know, people who are familiar with Adobe Illustrator or those kind of platforms to do like 3D elements. So I'm going to paste this in here. This is a new feature that they have where you can paste SVGs straight from Illustrator into Project Neo, which makes my life so much easier. So I'm just going to adjust some of these, make a little composition. So since I had them paste it all together, it grouped them. So I'm just going to ungroup. We'll start with my lightning bolt. Since it's like lightning, right? We'll make it yellow. I feel like a bright yellow, maybe. I want to make it look like kind of shiny. Yeah, something like that. I also want to change my background. Let's just make it white because that green is atrocious. Something like that. Great. So what I can do is I can actually roll the top corner. So that's going to give me this like nice little bevel effect, which is perfect. And I can do the same thing with the bottom. And then I can actually inflate it a little bit if I want. Give it like, kind of like a pillow effect. Let's actually change the background again because white's kind of a lot to look at. Let's do like a blue because our sky is going to be blue. Something like that. All right, so let's do the same thing with the star. What color do we want the star to be? Grab like a light pink, maybe. Again, we're gonna roll that top corner just to get us a nice little effect. Kind of looks like uh, Patrick, right? SpongeBob and Patrick. Drop that roughness, increase the metallic a little bit. And now we get that nice little like glow. All right, so for this guy, it's gonna be a mouse cursor. So let's make it white. I want it to be a little rough or lower that roughness. All right, so we're gonna make this, yeah, drop that a little bit, increase the metallic. And then we'll roll the top corner again. Same with the bottom corner. So here, what I want to do though, is I want to make this look more like a mouse. So I'll copy this, paste it, and I'll make it just a little bit bigger. And we're going to turn this black. Yeah, perfect. And just drop it a little bit. All right, so this isn't actually doing what I want. So let's go back to Adobe Illustrator. That's how these things go sometimes, right? You just got to iterate. So let's add a stroke, like six point. Yeah, and then let's expand. So now I can copy this outline. Let's shrink this a little bit. Now let's turn this black. Now let's grab these two layers right here and I can come over here to my line tool and I can just make sure everything's nice and aligned. Now this stroke needs to be just a little bit bigger. Now it's actually looking how I want, looking like a mouse cursor, right? Make it a little bit bigger. Let's roll the top corner, make it a little shinier. Yeah, perfect, much better. All right, let's do a couple other elements too. So let's do like, uh, let's grab a sphere. And then what's really cool is we can change the color of this. So let's make it a little shiny. Let's add like, uh, let's do like an orange, I think. Let's do like an orange. Let's copy this, paste it. Command C, Command V to put it over here. And this is what, what a really cool feature about Adobe Project Neo is I can just blend this. Look at that. Look how cool that is. So let's do like a lighter orange. Yeah. And then we're going to copy and paste this again. We're going to keep extending this, make it a little smaller. So we're actually going to make a couple of these. Let's do this one like a darker purple, maybe. Something like that. Sweet. So now I want to do a couple like uh, text things. So let's type out air, I guess. So now we got air and let's look through our fonts. I think it's a bunch of Adobe fonts. So I want something like kind of bubbly. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's uh, let's inflate this guy. Let's see what it looks like when you inflate him. And let's roll the corners, so top corner. I want to really inflate this. I want it to look like a pillow. And I just want to have a couple of these when I export this. All right, so I think I have some cool options here. So now what I can do is I can just download this. So I'll come over here to download and I want it to be a transparent background. I want this to be way bigger though. So let's do like 3000 by 3000. Yeah, much bigger resolution. Let's download. All right, so I just do this layer on top and it's already looking so cool. Like I can tell this has a lot of good potential. So what I can do is really, I can just start freestyling and having fun with this. So I can take uh, all my shapes. So like maybe this lightning bolt needs to go in the background. Maybe I want it behind the shoe, right? I want to give it some depth, right? So he's behind there. And then we've got my star. Maybe the star needs to be like up above, maybe poking out just a little bit. I'm going to keep playing with this composition and then I'll come back 
and we'll make it look even more realistic. Well guys, here's the final poster. I went through and I added some highlights and shadows just to really make this feel like it was integrated into the shoe. Overall, super simple. This video is about 10 minutes long. We were able to knock out a super cool poster. I'd love to see what you guys do if you go ahead and you do something like this yourself. Make sure to tag me on Instagram or wherever you share it. Well, that's all I got for you. Until the next one, peace.